Hi there, I have 20 seconds to convince you to like and comment on this video, so I am just going to beg in silence. Please like and comment. Okay, 20 seconds over. See you at the end! Ugh, cleaning duty. Again. <laughs> what is my luck? Hey, you. I'm assuming you're my partner. No, that's, like, fine. I'm not judging you. I'm just annoyed. I mean, come on. It's cleaning duty. Anyone would be annoyed. So, let's just get this over with. So, for today, we're supposed to be cleaning the little room over here. Apparently, they use it for, like, detention or something. Which, in my opinion... I find super cruel. It's whatever. At least it's small. But like, so depressing. Ugh, I gotta stop thinking about it. Let's just get it done. I'll start in this corner. Huh? No, I don't mind. What do you want to ask? Do I know you? Uh, no. Other than, like, the few times I've seen you in class? Yeah, no. Why, did, like, someone say something? Oh. Because I'm popular. I see. Well, um, rest assured, I don't know a thing about you. Unless there's something that I need to know. I mean, it's the two of us in here. You might as well tell me if you have something on your mind. And the reason why I'm saying that is you wouldn't ask that unless there's something that you're worried about. You're worried about me knowing something, aren't you? Oh, come on. I deal with so many people on the daily. I basically know how to read them like a children's book. Oh, gosh, that was like so dramatic of me. But you get my point, right? Okay, good. So... What's up? Oh, come on! You can't be shy now! I mean, I guess you can, but it's just the two of us. And for the record, I'm not the type to spread rumors if that's what you're scared about. I know, shocker. But seriously, I'm not like those other popular girls. Well, yeah, I know how to keep my mouth shut. I'm like some of these people out here. Good lord. But anyways, do you have something you want to tell me? We can get to cleaning afterwards. Just by looking at your face, I can tell you're dying to tell me something. You know what? Hold that thought. I know exactly what it is. You are so shy, you can't look me in the eyes and tell me what you want to say. Alright, here's what we're going to do. Sit down here. And remain seated. I'm being serious, by the way. <laughs> and I will just turn off the lights. Ooh, hopefully you're not scared of the dark. Uh-huh, okay. Since you can't see me, does that make you feel a little bit better? You know what they say... If you cut off one sense, all of your other senses are just, you know, amped up in a way. Kind of want to test it out. I don't know. Is that really an appropriate thing for someone like me to do? You don't really seem opposed. So what do you say? You want to test out your other senses? Ooh, we have an adventurous one over here. <laughs> I like that about you. Now, I think we should test out mainly your sense of touch. And of course, your hearing as well. Since you have nothing to focus on visually, just focus on my voice and my touch. Sounds good? Oh, wow. You're really good at listening, aren't you? So obedient. 
and I don't even know you. Never knew I had so much of a hold over you. My chance. Does that have anything to do with what you're trying to tell me? Oh, the silent game, aren't we? Even in the dark, you're so reluctant. Yeah, I just need to pressure you a bit more. How does that sound? Sounds fun, doesn't it? <laughs> Hold still. Ooh, your lap is so warm. <laughs> what am I doing? Well, isn't it obvious? I'm sitting on your lap, silly. In order to get over this awkward phase, we just have to get right to it, if you know what I mean. Exactly. And to be honest, I don't see any other better way to tackle the issue. With the two of us so close together like this. How does it feel? Feels very warm, doesn't it? <laughs> I can tell you're getting really, really nervous. At the same time, you're getting very comfortable, aren't you? Well, you're not as squirmy as before. And you're getting quite handsy. Aw, oh, man. The only bad thing about doing this in the dark is I don't get to see your facial expressions. But to compensate, I'm just imagining the way you're looking right now. Based on how you're sounding alone, I can tell your face is super red. And you're probably so embarrassed. But, hmm, maybe I'm wrong. Is embarrassed the right word? No, I didn't think so. I think, in fact, you're enjoying this more than you think. With that being said, I think I can safely say... You are rather comfortable. So, what did you want to tell me? Oh. Just making sure I heard that right. You're saying that you had a crush on me? Really? Oh, wow. <laughs> well, that changes things. For the better, for the better, don't you worry. I mean, listen, I'm not mad at you or anything. I'm just glad that you feel comfortable enough to tell me the truth. Especially in this setting. <laughs> but I can't imagine how you feel, though. Having your crush sit on your lap like this in the dark. Just think about what your friends would say about this. So scandalous. And what would happen if a teacher were to open this door and see us like this? <laughs> we would get in really big trouble, huh? But I don't really think you seem to mind. Because neither do I. Oh, and just for the record, to ease your mind a little bit. I did think you were really, and I mean really cute. I mean, yeah. Why else would I be sitting on your lap like this? I wouldn't be doing this to someone who I thought was unattractive. So, take that with what you will. But maybe, after all of this cleaning is done, we can do something else. But first, we gotta make sure we don't get expelled. Something as scandalous as this. Oh my, it sparks so many rumors. I won't hear the end of it for weeks, and neither will you. But to be honest, even with that risk, I don't mind at all. Just like you, I'm enjoying this more than I should. <laughs> I couldn't help but notice how well our bodies fit together. Maybe this was meant to happen. Or maybe I'm looking too deep into things. What do you think, huh? Oh, you're squirming again. I thought you were comfortable. What? Did thinking about that rile you up or something? No, don't worry. I'm not weirded out or anything. I like seeing this vulnerable side of you. In fact, if it's doing anything, it makes me want you more. Aww. You regret turning off the lights now? Hmm. Well, that's too bad. All you're gonna get is my voice and my touch for today. But maybe another time? 
we could do something a little more different. And you know what I mean. You two still in there? <gasps> it's after school hours. Oh, shit, you shit, guys should uh, heading home soon. No, Don't worry about cleaning up this, everything. Shh, it's shh, fine. Shh. All right, thank you so much. We're just finishing up here. Also, I do want to ask, is there a reason why the lights are off? Oh, uh, nothing. We were just playing, like, a little game. Ah, uh, well, make sure to be careful in there. Other than that, I'll see you two tomorrow, okay? Okay. See you tomorrow. <sighs> what the fuck? Where did she even come from? I didn't hear any footsteps, did you? Oh, gosh. What if she was listening to what we were saying? I mean, I know as a teacher she's not going to say anything, but it's still kind of like... Ugh, I don't know if I can face her tomorrow. Oh well, like I said, the embarrassment was worth the experience. And you know what? With that, I have one final thing to say to you. I think I like you too. In a way, I think we were made for one another. I mean, look how compatible our bodies are. And there sure are other ways to test out our compatibility. And I'm more than willing to test them out. So what do you say? Let's see how truly compatible we are with one another. <laughs>